Hey everybody, Kevin Geary, LearningToLight.com. Sorry for the scruff today, uh, but it's been a long weekend of shooting. Uh, I've had shoots uh, Friday, Saturday, and then yesterday, Sunday. And the good news is I have something great for you today. So yesterday I got my friend Onyx and he is really into CrossFit and has been for a little while now. He is friends with the owner of the gym that he goes to and I said, hey, look, let's set up a shoot, right? I wanna do a fitness style shoot. I'll meet you at the CrossFit place and we'll get it done and I'll record it all so we have behind the scenes coverage for you guys. And Chris, who also appeared in a former behind the scenes video at learningtolight.com, also tagged along with me uh, as an assistant and um, you know, just to, to get him more experience with working with, with lighting because he is interested. So uh, I had him uh, assisting me and then we had Onyx as our main subject. And what was cool about this shoot is I, there were no expectations for the images. So you know, all we had, we did have a timeline. So we had about two and a half hours to shoot. We ended up wrapping up in about two hours. And I'm pretty happy with the variety of styles of images that we were able to capture in that amount of time. You're gonna see that, you know, I guess here, here's what I wanted to explain. Because there were no expectations, I've done shoots with Onyx in the past. I did a football themed shoot with him. He was a high school foot play, uh, football player, played a little bit in college as well. And I, I took some awesome football images of him a couple of years ago. Well, I, I already have portraits of Onyx. I didn't want to go into this fitness shoot and just make more portraits of Onyx. I wanted to experiment with some things and I wanted to use the opportunity of not having any expectations to do this experimentation. You know, I was not afraid to set up shots that would fail and fail miserably and, and that no finals would come from them. So you're gonna see some of that. Thankfully, they, they all pretty much worked out. Every, every setup that we did, we got a final image from. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, even one that I thought was pretty sketchy and, and may not work out at all, we got a great final from that. So you're gonna see all of this today uh, and hopefully you get something out of it. We're gonna get started with, I didn't do any intro on the video with Onyx or anything like that, so we're gonna cut right into shooting. You're gonna see that I start out with natural light, and one thing I do with a lot of people is I just start out with natural light as a warm up. You know, when you bring in big lights and you've got fancy equipment and all that stuff, it can be a little intimidating to some people. So just starting off with natural light to warm up with the subject, even if you're not gonna keep any of the images, even if you know you're not gonna keep any of the images, it's still a great way to start just because it helps warm up the client or the, the subject, whoever you are shooting. Now, I did end up using one of the natural light images in the beginning, but even if I wasn't gonna use them, I would probably still start out that way and do often start out that way just to warm up the subject. So I hope you like today's behind the scenes video. This is my shoot with Onyx uh, at his CrossFit gym in Atlanta. Enjoy. All right, jump up there real quick. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's do a pull up. Uh, go. Do you go way above the bar? Or you, like you go all the way up? I'll go for it. I could probably go to my chair. Okay. Let's try. Just do one, and I'll see what see what we get. Yeah, that's good. All right, come back. All right, this time hold at the top. Okay. All right, let's do one. I'll get you halfway. So go slow. All right, one more. All right, cool. Let's get a... Uh... All right, make a, like a athlete face this time when you go up. Ready? Go. Want me to look at you? Yeah. All right, now same thing, but you're looking at your hands or, you know, just concentrating. All right, you can drop down. Those shadows are 
filled in now. That looks pretty good without the light too though. I guess without the light. Yeah. That is with the light. A little bit better, like I said, the shadows are all filled up from the side. Yeah. I'm wondering if we keep the shadows the way they are and use that light as a rim on his back. Okay. So we'll just pull that light around behind him and do it one more time. All right, pull it up. All right, make your face. Nice, one second. Go. One more. Go. All right, good. We'll go with that. We're gonna get your portrait in this reflection right here. So, stand right. Let's try this light first and see. All right, good. So that's gonna be your rim. All right, so let's bring that down and We'll fit it, we'll shoot it right through this opening right here. Yeah, and I'll slide it all the way in. Back it up a little bit. And bring this corner like through here more. Right there. That's good. Now it's really clouding it up. Um, yeah, I guess. And turn it away from him, like that way. All right, look uh, right there. So for this portrait, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to get a reflection portrait of Onyx. Now I've taken reflection pictures before, but I've never taken a reflection portrait where I lit the person at the same time. And of course, to get a reflection, you have to have reflective surfaces. And when you bring lighting around reflective surfaces, well, they don't always cooperate together. So it took a lot of finagling with the light. It took a lot of uh, making changes and adjustments. When I first lit it, it, we were getting a light bouncing around in the reflection and it was making it feel kind of cloudy and it was taking away a lot of the depth like and interest away from the photo. It was, it was very washed out. So we had to do a lot of positioning changes with the light and just try to troubleshoot the issues that we were running into we also, uh, at the end, so because of the position of the light, we were lighting up a post right. that yeah. was actually in the reflection way too much. And I was able to fix that by changing the composition. So I changed to a vertical composition, which removed that post from the shot. And I came away with a portrait that I really, really like. It's gritty, it's different, it's dynamic. There's a lot going on. You don't really notice that it's a reflection at first. You may think it's Photoshopped, like a poster type thing, but it's absolutely not. None of the effect of the image was Photoshopped. It's all due to the reflection. So I'm very happy with the final image. Look straight at me. Are right, you ready?
Athlete face. Uh, yeah, halfway. Pull it like halfway up like a curl. Yeah, right there. One more. Good. Can you wrap that strap more? It's throwing a shadow on your face. Or put it behind your shoulder. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. All right, ready when you are. Nice. So none of the concepts that you see in this behind the scenes video were pre-planned. I tend to not plan much I, because the location, especially if I haven't been to the location before, the location often throws curveballs, and you have to deal with those. And if you plan too much, it in, you end up having to rework anything. Ever. You end up having to rework everything anyway. So I've just found, at least for me, that it's best to show up, look at the location, and then decide what our shoots and, and concepts are going to be. I might have some loose ideas of what I want to accomplish, but nothing concrete. However, on this one shoot, I did have one concept, a concrete concept that I wanted to shoot, and it was the idea of Onyx doing something really difficult, straining, and having himself coaching himself and maybe even two or three different iterations of himself coaching himself. Kind of like an inner critic type photo or a self-motivational type photo. So you see Onyx's main character is doing a, a lift of some sort and he's struggling and he's trying really hard and then you have these other versions of Onyx around him, coaching him, yelling at him, whatever. Um, so that is one of the concepts that I had pre-planned and that's what you are going to watch next. Um, so this is a composite photo and you'll see us lighting and shooting the main photo and then the other subsequent versions of Onyx. Unfortunately, with the placement of the, Gro the GoPro, you can't see me. I'm behind a pillar way far away. I was shooting uh, 135 millimeters with the Canon 135 F2 and that placed me at a, at a spot where you can't see me, but you can still hear me very well, and you can see Onyx, and you can see the lighting setup and all of that. So I uh, just wanted to break in and let you know that, that that's what this upcoming part is, and I hope you enjoy. That post annoys the shit out of me. I wish it wasn't there. I'm not gonna crop it, but I could angle the camera better. Um, all right, so let's think about this. We've got him. Lighting on him is good. Kind of like split lighting, but he's not, he's filled in pretty good. Now that I've got that background lit up, I might be able to drop down. If I drop, if I increase the shutter speed, we'll get less light from these windows and maybe more shadow on this side. Let's see. All right, 160, 200. Go down and uh, look up at me. Try to get this on your face. Yeah, I like, I like that. Back up that uh, that side of it just a little bit. Toward you. Toward you. Right there. Uh, maybe a little forwards. Yeah, right there is good. All right. Are you gonna do a full one? What's the whole movement? Is it up to here? And then up or? It's just go up. Okay. I'll, I'm gonna try to click you when you're in that squat. Right in the middle. All right, ready? All right. All right, when you do it again, this time, like, make a really stressful face. Like, you're really trying really hard. All right. 
Um, no. Okay. Pretend like I'm not here. Alright. All right. I'm ready when you are. Alright, that's good. You look like you're having too much fun. Do we, we, should, should we put more weight on there? <laughs> blow, blow out like, like, like that. Put like one, not a huge plate, just a little bit. Just there's a little extra bulk on there. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, we're locked down on the tripod. So we don't need anything in the shot except for him. So, all right, let's roll that out of the way and put a shirt on. Maybe those long pants you had. So that was the edge. Okay, so you're gonna be like crouched and you're gonna be like, like <coughs> however you would coach yourself, okay. you know? Like, get that f***ing weight off the ground, pansy. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Go ahead. Get closer. Alright. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Oh, you can get a lot closer. All right. Uh, put your left foot in front. See so your, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, switch it. There you go. All right, ready, go. All right, hold on. All right, and now do the same thing from the other side. All right, try again. Uh, after all was said and done, this was a relatively simple composite. Uh, I definitely think a few things could have been done better. I wish we could see the plates better. But uh, overall, I'm happy with the final result. Let's do one last shot. Um, we're going to get fake sweat, drench you up, and take a headshot kind of thing. All right, do a curl. Do it with the other arm. All right, try to keep your head in line while you do it, so you're not leaning too much. All right, one more time. All right, good. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Definitely subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Check out what we are doing at Learning to light.com. I'll see you again with more awesome content, behind the scenes footage, assignments, etc. very, very soon. Have a great day.